RTMP is the basic, more technical method for how live streaming is done. It's simplified through APIs, which we don't have for Instagram currently. Platforms like Ecamm have drastically simplified the IG live process, and StreamYard has done something similar, giving us an updated workflow and for me, necessitating I create an update video. It's fairly simple, actually. You add IG as a standard destination, separate from your content uploads destination, create a new live stream and select that new destination, and then you'll be prompted to enter your stream key which you get from your Instagram account. I'll walk you through the updated process step-by-step step in the full video. So here we are on my desktop and we're looking at the StreamYard dashboard, which has been slightly updated. Used to be all these items you were in one. Uh, you had live stream recording and you had webinar on air all in one place and you had a drop down. Now we have them separated out. And that makes sense because there are three types of content that we use and this will make it simpler and more clear for those of us that are utilizing this platform. Um, one of the things to note is that you will need to go into destinations and select uh, add destination. Now, in this case, I already have it, so I'm going to just remove it real quick so that you can see this process. But we click on add destination. Notice there are other destinations here for Instagram, and those are for the content uploads, as I mentioned before. If you're in your library and you want to go through and create a short or a reel from one of these guys here, you can then upload it to uh, TikTok, Instagram, even Facebook or YouTube directly from StreamYard. And so you have destinations just for that. But for live streaming, you do need to actually select and add a new destination. When we click on add destination, you'll notice here that Instagram live is the new um, destination that you have. So we select that, put in your handle, which for me is just my name, click add and you're done. Very simple, no need to go over to Instagram for that part. That's a major change for uh, for us already uh, in this process. Then next, we'll wanna go through and create a new live stream. So it's not a recording, that's more for podcasts and live to tape content. We're, we actually want to stream to Instagram and, and that would not be a webinar either. So we're gonna click on new live stream. And when we click on that, we'll be prompted with what destinations you wanna to go to. In this case, we want to select that destination as we did before. Let's call this SY Live Test. Okay. And there's some, you know, verbiage on the screen here. We're streaming to Instagram. So your title is just for you to organize. It's not going to actually be sent over. So they want you to know that. Secondly, th there is an hour time limit. That's what this section right here is highlighting. There is an hour time limit. So if you stream for longer than an hour, it won't be, you will be stopped at an hour on Instagram. So keep that in mind in terms of your planning, in terms of your content and engagement with your audience. And then it gives you some details in terms of how to get your professional account set up, how to find the stream key, because you do need to put the stream key in here to be able to create the live stream. So let's go over to Instagram, which I have open right here. Um, I've just opened up my profile. I'm going to hit this plus sign right above my my profile icon here, this plus sign. And when I click on that, I'm given two options, post or live video. I want to do live video, um, same title. You can use whatever title you want. Uh, you don't there's no right or wrong on this particular part. Select your audience. In this case, I'm going to do public. Now, to be clear, uh, if you're testing, you may want to do um, practice, uh, but I'm going to say public. And I'm going to hit the next button. Boom. We're in the next screen. And this is where we at the preview point. And you'll notice that my video is above the stream URL and stream key. You don't need the stream URL. You do, however, need the stream key. I'm going to take that, hit the copy button, paste it over in StreamYard, click where it says create live stream. And it not only creates the live stream for me, but it will bring me into the studio. And at that point, I'll be prompted to select my camera. In this case, I'm going to select the top down and we're going to enter the studio. 
notice that the studio has already set for nine by 16, which is vertical. And we get this message here saying, you will need to click go live in Instagram after, keep that in mind, after you click go live here in StreamYard. We happen to have both up at the same time, so you can kind of see that. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and hit the X on that. This has already brought us into the studio with the vertical, as I mentioned. But if you, for some reason, get into the studio and you have the wide version, you just wanna to go to settings. Let's do that again. Right here at the bottom, you wanna to go to settings, right there, settings. Then you wanna to go to general, right there, general. And you wanna select your orientation right here. So you, if it was on landscape, you'd wanna select portrait. You wanna do those things before you click live because you can't change them once you go live. So now we would click the go live button. I'm not gonna do a local recording, personal preference there, no right or wrong. I select go live and in the StreamYard side, I'm now live. And I put that in air quotes because until you, with Instagram, until you actually click the go live button over here, you're not actually live. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I do want you, did want you to see that we can see a preview of this. So here we're looking at a clip that I recorded while I was live earlier on Instagram. And right here, you're seeing the StreamYard side of the screen, and you're also seeing the Ecamm side of the screen. And what we can do, boom, moving my video over, you can see some of the comments that are there. You can see the uh, types of information that you can see in front of you. now. What you're also probably able to notice here is that we do not get viewer count inside of StreamYard. We do not get um, comments inside of StreamYard. Again, this is because we are you streaming with RTMP as opposed to API. And because we're not streaming with API, we are not getting those comments. Uh, we don't get those robust features, reactions, stuff like that, that we are used to from other streaming destinations that we stream to with StreamYard. Um, <clears throat> I am, however, able to see everything. There is a slight delay between the two videos. You can see that uh, StreamYard is going to be real time with your camera, whereas uh, Instagram is going to be a slight delay. It'll be real time with what your audience is actually seeing. So you kind of need to have a bit of a workflow set up that enables you to see both. And that is how that particular part would work. StreamYard isn't the only one simplifying the Instagram live workflow. In fact, Ecamm was the first to the punch and I walk through their process, which allows for comments as well in the video right here. Head over there now and let's continue this conversation. <laughs> See you soon.